Hello everybody and welcome. Um, here is my Minecraft Let's Play that I'm going to be doing for you guys. Um, I'm going to try and do my best to keep it entertaining and fun and do a lot of cool stuff. But basically I'm just doing a little introduction here. Oh gosh, am I stuck in the ground or something? What's going on here? This is weird. Well anyways, um, I was just going to do a little introduction here and then I'm going to go ahead and pause recording and just go ahead and get all my basics done and find a place to build a house and stuff like that all that good stuff so well that's weird the chest broke the chest never spawned and that torch was floating there what's up with that oh that for some reason minecraft's been really glitchy for me today but anyways, um, yeah, I'm just going to be doing a basic let's play, I guess. Uh, hopefully I can do some interesting stuff so you guys don't get bored. I basically just typed in a bunch of random numbers for my seed. Uh, looks like I've got a pretty open valley here with jungle biome that way. We'll see if we can find this way. But basically, I'm just going to pause it here eventually and just, you know, kind of, uh, Let's go ahead and get some wool. Uh, go ahead and get set up with all the basic stuff I need. Maybe get a little farm going, all that stuff. Before I start recording, because one thing I can say is when I'm watching a Let's Play, that's one thing I hate, is having to watch people do all that crap. It's never very fun for me. I know there's lots of animals here. Okay. And it's never really fun for me. I don't like watching them do all the beginning stuff. I like watching when they do cool stuff. So, I'm not going to make you guys sit through something that I personally do not like to sit through. And I'm liking the hills over there, so that's probably where I'll build my house. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it now, guys, and I'll be back. And, well, for you guys, it'll be like two seconds, and for me, it'll be like two hours. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'll be back with hopefully a house built somewhere in this general area, because I really like building in mountainy areas, because I can get complex with it and whatnot. So that's what I'm shooting for, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, just wanted to come back and do a nice little update here for you all. Um, is what I've dis where I've decided to build is kind of in here that's floating too by the way but it's kind of in this nice little cove here with this water we got a nice forest over here it goes off in the kind of a biome area over there like flats biome got more mountains back there the jungle area I started out is back in that direction probably about a four or five minute walk that way but uh, basically I came up with the idea that since, you know, The Hobbit's about to come out, and I'm freaking excited about that, I decided to make myself a, a Hobbit hole. So, this is what I've got done so far. I plan on probably coming, like, curving it around here, like having a curved wall that goes, like, through here-ish, and then just filling all that in. That's going to be the basic of my house. And then eventually I might make an extension that connects up to this and whatnot, but for now... That's just going to be the basic of it. I made this cool little, like, glass wall that you can see out into the water with. Thought it looked pretty cool. I think probably get some water buckets and place them up there so it falls over too. But yeah, and then that that's about all I got so far. But yeah, that was the idea was make myself a hobbit hole. So I'm still gonna try and make this look a bit more hilled, like curve it a bit more up here, like place some blocks in here and stuff that kind of stuff, but that's what I'm going with, and I'll see you guys next time I make a, like, what will be the third update now, and then hopefully, at the end of this video, I'll have all the basic stuff done, and I'll be able to show you guys around my house, and then next episode will be the actual start of a Let's Play, so see you guys when I get back. Hello, guys, uh, I am back with the final product, I finally finished up here. I'm um, still going to add a few finishing touches, but this is going to be the basic thing. First off, I'll show you guys the outside. Um, I tried to blend it in as well as I could. It's just being a 
another little hill out here, you know, just a small one. So you don't see too much. The glass up there you can kind of see, you know. I'm thinking about taking out top of the top layer of glass and then just having one center layer of glass to look through. Not exactly sure yet, though. This is the front of it. Uh, with the new zombies, I had to put these doors on, even though I would really like how the wooden doors would look here instead. But here's the inside so far. Nothing too fancy. I plan on doing all wooden floors, and then I probably will take out the top layer of glass, because you also got that gap right there. I don't like how that looks. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. Probably gonna do all wooden floors in here. Probably keep the roof all dirt and stuff. I uh, got my bed, got my furnace. Um, and then back outside. Oops. Yeah, these buttons, I had to place them a bit awkwardly, but they work for the most part. But yeah, that's about it. That's my little hobbit hole to start off this quite amazing let's play. So, um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope you guys stick around for my Let's Play. Um, yeah, I <laughs> hope you guys like it. Um, I have decided to also, me and a friend are going to start working on a project of making, like totally remaking all of uh, Middle Earth on Minecraft. So make sure I'll maybe do some videos on that. Uh, the first thing I have to build are the Mines of Moria. So, yeah, I get that wonderful project. We were going to do it one-to-one -one scale, but then we realized that basically the Mines of Moria, their width alone, they're about 80 million blocks wide if each block was a yard or three feet. So that means your Minecraft character was about an average six foot tall, which is pretty close. That's about the best roundabout you can do on Minecraft. So with those, with each block being a meter or a yard or three feet, however you want to measure it, it would literally be 80 million blocks wide because uh, the mines of Moria are about uh, what's known as 90 leagues wide. The, the only accurate map I found was in leagues, and it was about 90 leagues wide. And that's massive because a league is uh, about... Mm, let me think. Okay, so one league is about 5.7 kilometers, and it's about three miles. So if you can only imagine that being 90 of those, you know, we're looking at over 180 miles. Well, let's think 90, no, 2,700 miles, 2,700 miles? Yeah, no, 270 miles, 270 miles wide. So it's it's really just massive in all honesty and so we won't be able to do one to one we're gonna try and keep it kind of feeling one to one ish like I might do the uh, just the main parts that they went through in Lord of the Rings when they go through the Mines of Moria you know I plan on doing that in one to one scale if I can that's still gonna be like a couple thousand blocks wide so I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna be doing that or not yet but I'm going to try to make it as accurate as I can, we're going to get basically in separate worlds, we're going to make each part of it, like my friend's going to start working on Isengard, actually he did start working on Isengard, um, so he's going to be doing Isengard for now, and I'm going to be doing Moria, and then we're going to take them, all the separate world files, I'm going to just cut out the structure, the entire structure, and I'm going to put it all together, with uh, Minecraft edit so I can get the distances in between them correct without having to count out thousands of blocks like this because I want to get it as perfect as I can so that's how I'm gonna do that so I hope you guys enjoy it I'll probably do some videos on like how I design the pillars and Moria and things like that you know like design things and creative world things you can do I would do a time lapse, but we don't really have someone who's willing to just let their Minecraft account sit there and record for hours and hours, considering they'd probably take up like a terabyte of space for all of that just recording alone, so we, we're not going to worry about that too much. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you guys stick around for more videos, uh, and I hope you guys like my Lord of the Rings theme I've started so far, so yeah. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and tell me what you guys would like to see from now on. See you guys later.